That's some horse shit right there. <sighs> like, that's really dickish of the game. I still don't understand how they can do something like that with a, just like a man story mandatory NPC who can fucking die in a free play mod. Like, so what are they on? Probably at the CS base, then. Well, I can't go all the way back down to the fucking Counter-Strike base. I'll lose way too much time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Imagine having to stab a rat more than once to kill it. I think killing those rats is a good enough idea, honestly. It's pretty consistent. Come on. There we go. Cap frantic. Did you know that you can kick rats? LOL. Going, you'll never kick a rat to death, dude. Excuse me. Cap frantic. Just press the use key on them. Imagine Little kicking Arcadia. a rat, dude, Wait a in minute. the current year. Spokecadia underscore which the original idea behind Stoker was that AI of other stores would be so advanced they could complete the main quest before you. Later on, babies, why don't you just sell ammo to the random stores? No, that's... Uh, that's a good question. Also, because the AI don't really pay much for ammo. I might be able to, yeah. That That's not a terrible idea. If I just walk out to the guards right there and just sell them my ammo. I do want to keep some weapons, though, because I need to get through Lamanxk enough to get weapons. Holy shit, that nigga's got, like, an RPK. Like, a fucking... A big gun. PKM or whatever. Slayer of babies. It's what we do in cop. Slayer of babies. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Those rats seem to spawn there consistently, though, and I guess three rats is a guarantee. Like, I only need, like, one head, really. And the odds of me not getting a single head off of three rats is very, very low. It also depends what weapons... Because the weapons and shit that I spawn with are randomized, it kind of depends what I get if selling them is worth it. Later off, babies, how much do you get from the rats? That's the question. Spokecadia underscore which word. The, cre the rat gave me, I think it was like 500 for one head. Spokecadia and my suit itself. My immersion was broken from this stream. The suit itself costs, I think Later it's Lothabes. something like... Input perks. No problem, dude. If you want to see Stalker get destroyed anytime, head over to here or Slayer's stream or Talaris' stream. Glad 487. Hello, dude. Please. Please. Thank you. There we go. CFB. Or my stream. Yeah, or CFB stream. He actually streams Stalker every other day. CFB. He's starting I up a regular schedule. Stalker, but follow me anyways, thanks. Yeah. He streams PUBG, which is basically Stalker. Slayer of Babies. Speaking Please of when's PUBG. CFB. Slayer of Babies. Please. Also, if you don't like shotguns in PUBG, you're actually a beta male. You're just- you're not manly enough to walk up and shoot someone right in the face. You have to fight them at a range. CFB. I love shotguns in PUBG. That's what I'm saying, dude. CFB. Do you have it now? No, that's- Yeah, I do. I've actually had it for a long time, I just never played it. I don't know why. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me, I don't want to. I have two med packs? What the fuck? I thought I had one. It's rare you have more than one, dude. Ow. What do you have on you? Nothing. Nothing very good. I shouldn't have really stopped for your shit. Honestly, I should just keep running through. But yeah, having a weapon is nice. Shouldn't you say to as per English language rules? Uh, can I get a hot ban on Octavia Witch? 
That's absolutely degenerate. Slayer of babies. See, this guy has head in Alaska multiple times. Yeah, where am I gonna get the grenade launcher for it, though? Where am I going to get the GP25 is the problem, like... Getting an AK wouldn't be that big a deal. It's, it's just, yeah, finding a grenade launcher. The only place I could think of to get one consistently would be buying it from, like, Barkeep or something. Let's just run past these retards. Or, by retards, I mean retard. Holy shit! Okay, never mind, he killed himself. Where am I going? I went up the stairs too much. Man, I'm glad I made a fucking iron in this mod. Or at least on rookie difficulty. Cap frantic. Ha ha ha. You know, shoot me, thank you. Slayer of babies. Well, there are one sitting around we never thought of. There's one in cop we didn't realize for like five years. Epic. I don't fucking know where one would be though, dude. Especially since I really doubt it would be in any stash, because all the stashes seem completely Slayer randomized in this game. I mean, in Alaska to a GP25. Slayer of babies, not the stash. Especially considering the current route going from Yantar to what's it called. I have no clue where I'd find one. In X18. Yeah, that's a little late though. Like, I'd already be in. Like, I'd already be a zombie by that point. Like, if I want to use one of those, I'd really, I feel like I'd really need to get it before uh, the thing. Like, before I go into the power plant. Man, I probably shouldn't have drank all that vodka, but I really wanted to get rid of the radiation. Holy shit. Swear to God, if I fall, I'm gonna be really upset. But yeah, I think, I think the one you're thinking of should still be there, because it doesn't feel like they changed anything inside the labs. So I don't see why that drop wouldn't be there still. Oh, excuse me. Please, thank you. Go. Also, why is there a hospital like literally right next yeah, to the Francis, nuclear power it's not plant? There with AO3, but should be there in vanilla cock. You. I want your gun. Thank you. Is it loaded? No. I'll load you now. But is there any others like it? That's the true question. Quick save, because why not? Cap frantic. Not that I can't think of bad space. Well, now that I have that RPG, I, I should have a significantly easier time getting through the power. I guess actually I was able to take it out with grenades just fine. In front of the window. In front of the machine. What did you have? Cap frantic. LOL. That didn't really help. You gave me a gun, that's nice. That gun's like really busted right now. Man, getting so drunk is really a bad thing. Reminder kids, do not drink alcohol, it is sinful. You will go to hell. Ow. Thanks for jamming your fucking gun on me, game. It really helps me out. I need that paperwork, I remember now. Can we not? Holy shit, stop with the punching. Stop with the punching! I hate the punching so fucking much. Oh, he doesn't have health. Yeah, no.
broke the This is class and LK called. Come on, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna think for a second there. Wait, no. Yeah, that that's exactly what I wanted. Dead. Oh, you're all looking my way now. What's up with that? There we go. You all turned your backs for no good reason. Excuse me. I don't know why they turn their backs like that on me. Like, it doesn't make any sense. You live? That man is swole as fuck. Oh my god, no, I need that fucking gun. How? That shot right through your fucking head. What is this man? More of I needed the ammo from that gun than anything else. Later off babies. Classic missing multiple times. I hate this meme, dude. One of those shots I know just went went through his head but didn't deal damage. I love the easier difficulties. They're really good, dude. Вознагражден будет только один. Oh my... You son of a bitch, give that back. That's not yours. Oh yeah, it doesn't even like hit. Пришло время. Я вижу твое желание. I love the meme where an AI punches you, like, as you're coming around a corner so you can't really kill him in time to stop it, and then they instantly take your weapon as well. It's a really solid meme. Wait, did I miss the door? No. Wait, did I miss the door? The fuck is the door? Oh my god, I missed the door, dude. Holy shit, talk about not paying attention. Cap frantic, and then the condition of the gun turns to shift two. Yeah, it's really good. The moment the AI touch it, your weapon just fucking rusts like ten years. I don't even know how they do that. Please. Please go up. Oh, thank you. Пришло время. Я вижу твое желание. Hey, first try. Make me mortal. There we go. So that's like a minute faster than last time. This is amazing to me that it's just one minute faster. Now I hope fucking. Now I really. Hope... Oh, excuse me, I hope I don't fucking choke to death, but I hope that, uh, Doc actually, like, spawns and it's reasonable. Because I still don't know where the fuck he was last time. Also, I have, like, no ammo That's for this now. So a perfect run might get you to wish to enter in, like, 12.5 minutes? A perfect run would probably be, like, 11 minutes. Honestly, like, it depends how perfect you want the perfect run to be. Because, like, a, a perfect run, yeah. Like, really perfect run would be like, those guys all stare at the wall the entire time instantly, so I can sprint past the entire thing. And I also get perfect drops from, like, one person. So I only have to kill, like, one dude. Yeah, if Diamond grinded this, it would be, like, we'd have already finished. Eight 
AS minus like perfect. Fuck. Who's this one person I'm seeing? Like. Click the glass, V. Who? I see no one. It's probably Doc, though, like... Unless it was the guy from over here. Oh, no, 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 no! God, I hate this. I hate how I was able to find him so easily the last times, and now when I come here, I just, I literally cannot find the man. Unless this is him right here. It's him. It's Doc. Fuck you, Doc. Give me your paper. Fuck you. There. Also, I press shift right there. I don't know if I'm supposed to press shift and, like, click or something like that. But pressing shift did nothing. But I think you're a liar, Slayer. I'm gonna have to report you to the police next time I see you. Excuse me. Hello, ladies. Yeah, dude, you keep looking up when you're, like, way farther south than every time you've found him. God, so he's, like, here, I think, then. I, I think he's just like roams around like this area maybe. Yeah, I checked around here last time. I might just be retarded. I checked like this whole area though, so I think he was just a little bit further right. I think it was more of like the I didn't even see my human detector going off the entire time. So it's like it's not just the I'm not finding him, it's the I'm not even close to him. What was upsetting me. Yeah, I hate this meme. I still don't understand how they can have like a fucking story essential NPC just straight up die like what if some random guy kills him and loots him I don't know dude like I genuinely don't know and now that we know the codes and we more or less remember where the bodies are I don't really remember where the first one is all I know is it's by a bathroom full of snorks and the second one is yeah down by the pseudo giant Later off, babies. Welcome to Stoker. Well, this ought to be easy enough. Actually, since I have to pass by the first door anyway, I'm going to test the first door to see if I can just open it without the thing. And if I can, then yay. If I can't, then I guess I gotta eat Later shit. Off, babies. Reminder call to Prime Fat has like eight different endings you can get completely fucked out of by NPCs randomly <laughs> dying. It's really good, dude. That feeling you'll never get. Like Vano's good ending because he just takes a shotgun to a sniper fight. Please? Thank you. Usually you don't get sucked into those things twice, but I guess the game just decided that I wasn't taking enough pain yet. Also, I'm pretty sure it's like 7 a.m. right now. I don't fucking know the time. All I know is that that window is really bright outside. Excuse me. Oh, okay, I forgot about you. Can I get in the hole? Thank you. I also like how there's like just straight up bloodsuckers all over the place down here and none of the military seem to know or care. Lulu. I also really hope that getting those papers from what's it called early. Uh grabbing those handfuls of papers from the Monolith control area early it doesn't like fuck me in some way. What am I stuck on? It's like when you're running on sand and like it all just keeps getting like kicked out from underneath you right there. 
Your autistic screeching oh, okay. is greater than. Thank you. It was like those boards were underneath my feet and I was like kicking them out from underneath me, but I wasn't moving forward. clear sky. Why would you only have clear sky? Like literally why? It's like I remember when I was watching like Yahtzee reviews on fucking YouTube. Like the zero punctuation stuff. And he only played Clear Sky, and he only played it on the rookie difficulty, and he said that he didn't really understand why people liked it so much. And it's like, he clearly did absolutely zero research going into the game. So being a type of, like, review guy who's supposed to, you know, like, play a game and really understand what's happening there, to know literally nothing about the entire series is, like, LMAO. To be fair, though, it's not very many games where it usually gets, like, easier and or better on harder difficulties. Yeah, he did say he liked it, but that he said that a lot of people said that they really... I, I don't remember exactly what it was, but he said that, like, he liked it, but that there were, he felt there were a lot of problems with it. And it was funny, because he was playing the low difficulties, and he played Clear Sky. So it, cause I remember at one point specifically he mentions like I can't even imagine what like the hardest difficulty would be like, and it's funny so because I think Stalker and Metro games are some of the best game ever. I haven't played Metro, so I don't know. Also, I'm extraordinarily biased, so I would say Hotline Miami is I am the best video game that I've played in a long, long fucking time. Easily one of the best games I feel ever made. The sky is 99 meters away. Also, I never remember, I know I wrote it down at some point, but the code to the door here in Radar, I just never fucking remember it. Even though that used to be part of the route that I would run. It's easier and harder because everyone just deals more damage. Excuse me. You got in a god's way, this is what happens. Yeah, you can hit things too, like, just general shit. The biggest thing about it is that in Stalker, increasing the difficulty means basically all attacks from everyone will deal more damage. I really like that random large patch of lethal dose of radiation in this like starter area. So if you accidentally walk over that, you might just be fucked. Shadow of Chernobyl has amazing atmosphere and really good maps and a neat story. Uh, near the end, the story kind of falls flat because, I mean, fuck fighting through. Like, that shit I was fighting through, the giant slog of monolith. Yeah, you have to go through that shit for the story in Shadow of Chernobyl. Like, it's mandatory. And there's multiple sections where you have to do shit like that. Rage cast. It's a myth that players shocked have a chance to miss BBW. Serpic last V, so I should get Shadow of Chernobyl. Yes. Also, Call of Pripyat, the gameplay is significantly improved. Like, the shooting is a lot better. I'm still really biased, and I like uh, Shadow... I'm sure I mentioned this already, but I like Shadow of Chernobyl's um, artifacts the most. I feel like they have the most impact on the game. Cap Frantic Shadow of Chernobyl for great atmosphere called a front back for Yeah, action. Call of Pripyat's action is... A, like, the gameplay, the control feel of it is a lot better than Shadow of Chernobyl's. Circuit left, V. I am 1.7 meters tall. Fucking how many how many feet is that? I think my character might be a manlet. It's not exactly just the way difficulties work. Excuse me. Oh, I was about to say, like, did they just not see me this time? Okay. Now we get a test to see if I actually have to go find the things, because I know the codes to both of these doors now. One, two, four, three, then nine five two four. I really don't want to bother glitching these doors open, though, because they're a fucking pain. I will bother a little bit with the Pyrogeist one, because why not, really? One, two, four, three. Nope. Not here. Uh, he was in a bathroom, is all I really remember. 
For this way. Yes. Actually six three tall. Holy shit, how are you not dead? One, two, four, three. So he's not a manlet, that's good to know. I like how the code doesn't work until you get told that the code works. There is absolutely no dice roll on player shots. Spokadius underscore which is a part by eating with the seal. Assert the glass week. I am just going to buy both of them, but that's not right. This is right. Slay the lot of babies. Buy them on God. Yeah, you can get them on Steam or on GOG. Please, I'm trying to sprint. Thank you, game. Cap frantic. They're on offer in the Steam sale. 9524. Yeah, okay. So I didn't get the text probably because I'd already finished the mission before. But definitely talking to the bodies is required to use the password. And using the password is a lot more consistent than trying to glitch the doors open. He's gonna ignore you for now. I don't care anymore. Even... It's like not even budging anymore, dude. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing differently. Yeah, the door is not budging in the slightest anymore. God, I can't see a fucking thing. It's totally worth just doing that. The cut, the glitch, the doors open is just not consistent enough to work here. Teams one and two, check the first floor. Team three, the main hall. Teams four and five, second floor. I think there's like five teams here, and I literally see four people. How does that even work? Excuse me. Just fucking stabbed. Quarter of your guys' team dead. You know, they had four people. Who is the fifth team? Like, what? I think teams four and five might have been the same person, and I think I stabbed him dead. That's unfortunate for the military. Also, this one guard up here that was shooting at me is the only person in this building. What a fucking... Oh, okay, no, there's three people. Four people. Wow. You have a lot more friends than I gave you credit for. I'm sorry. Yeah, feel free to shoot me. I was being rude to you for no reason. I was about to say, like, he has no friends. But he proved me wrong. Cap frantic team for N5 are on the roof. Or, oh, they were on the roof, weren't they? He said teams, I think it was like maybe two and three go down? He said two teams to go down and do something. So maybe, like, one team is like three people, and then, like, the two other teams are just one person? Robuzz. Because there's not very many people in that building. Like, these are small teams. I think there was four inside and then four outside, so that's five teams for eight people. There's still one guy who's alone. Maybe the military are just assholes. Thanks for the smile, Brobas. This could be world record pace, I don't know. Slayer Rock Babies. Small TM because small brain. <laughs> he's just he's just fucking stupid, so no one wants to be on his team. I see how it is. Yeah, it's pretty epic, dude. This the college just searches friends with fucking everybody. Based. It's also really good in Call of Chernobyl, the military are uh neutral with the what's it called? Excuse me. I go the right way. The military are neutral with duty here. 
Which means you can go into the bar and no one on duty will do anything about you. But you'll have to genocide all the loners that they're protecting in there. So it's funny that the duty will say that they're all like, Oh, we're all high and mighty, like protecting people from the dangers of the zone. Anarchists. Some, like mutants, anarchists, bandits, shit like that. And then they just let somebody in who just genuinely slaughters everybody. I don't understand what their problem is. That's what I'm saying, dude. Friendly reminder, every single time I'm like at the outpost, I do ju like the like the outpost at the south of the bar. I do Judy's job better than them. I guess both ends of it. Because they never hunt down the mutants that are actually attacking and killing people like 10 feet away from the bar. So you have to do it for them. Because they're shit at it. But if I am shooting the gun, it's on hard mode. Spoketavia underscore which which games. Also, Arsenal Overhaul makes the barrier kind of different because the monolith, ex like, the, it's still the freedom protecting it, but the monolith significantly outgun them because they have such good equipment. So the fucking freedomers always get shit on and the monolith are just free to roam the warehouses. Which is really bad because that's supposed to be kind of like a mid-game area and then you've got late-game enemies there, so hey, you can just periodically walk around and then get sniped and die. It's a bad fur one. Now we go down to the lab. So we go down the lab, come back out here, go back up through here, up through here, down through there, over there, up, if you didn't play the wizard and over, just get out of this chat. And then, yeah, because these games are harder than your average console shooter. Yeah, that is true. I would say Stalker is harder than most console. I guess the only real console shooter I've played in long times were Rainbow Six Vegas 2. And also, uh, what's it called? The the newest Turok game. Which is pretty fucking old at this point, I'm certain. I'm pretty sure both of those games are really old now. I remember Turok was a really stupid game, though. Like, holy shit. I don't even understand what they were like going for in a lot of points. It was also really painful how obvious they made certain things. Where, like, they wanted you to pin enemies to the wall with the bow, so they have an enemy walk out, turn around, not paying attention to you, and just stand right next to a wall perfectly still. So it's like, it's really obvious that they want you to, like, pin him to the wall by his head. And I just don't want to. Oh, come on, go down. Thank you. Ah-ha! Uh -huh. Or a game built to be on console but may have a PC release. I mean a game that's meant to be on a PC. I guess Fear 3, actually. I played through that pretty recently. That game was definitely intended. Can I hit this with my face? Bam. Yeah, I can. That game was definitely intended to be played on a console. And Fear 2. I speedrun Fear 2. I totally forgot that game was, like, console shit. Can we not? God, I fucking hate Early reminder, he leaped at me once and hurt me like three times. Who kicked themselves in the ass for failing to become Hollywood child dog ever. Kept frantic. Fear three such hard remote. Oh my god, you can't jump over that? Are you fucking real? Why not? Serpic last V. I hyped for the third metro game because it's supposed to have maps like in Stoker. But which stalker? That's a very important question. I was really hoping I could jump over that, because then I could run a beeline to the end and climb up the tiny ladder there so I don't have to run around those, like, round paths. And then it wouldn't let me. And I have to avoid taking that armor as much as I want it. Please? Thank you. I wonder if I could just stab these guys that are in my way and see if anyone does anything. clear sky one. Wait, no. No, I don't have to do this, that's right. Serpic last V. When I say maps like Stoker, it has large open maps, but there's several maps. Okay. Rest in fucking peace, controller, dude. He died. He died right on top of Ghost. There we go.
circuit glass V. Gotta kind of sneaky breaky my way through Cap here. Sit down. The kid got fucking dropped, dude. Open that door like instantly and blow his head off. He had no idea what was happening. He's just like, whoa, hey, you're supposed to hit the thing. And he's dead. That's what happens when you fuck with me. I will beat you up. And I love how whenever they hit you, they also slow you down a lot. Looks are really fun to fight. It's a really good feature how if they're close to you and they do their leap attack, they can hit you on the starting animation of it, like the middle animation of it, and the ending animation of it. Which, if you're not an immortal god like my character is right now, would probably just instantly kill you. There's two hits. Nice jump. Nice one hit jump. Then again, Snorks, if you hit the head at least, are really, really weak. Yeah, it's fucking epic. To be fair though, they'll die in like one headshot, so who cares? Like, they're really not. Thanks for throwing boxes at me. <laughs> He just like pushed me. Like he did his attack and it didn't hit me for some reason and just like pushed me over him. These are side mine, yes, snorks. Okay. Side snorks. Also, I remember correctly. You'll even call a snow meme, so it's 10 a.m. That's true. Is it 10 a.m.? I don't fucking know. I don't have a clock on me right now. Is a red herring. And then the guy is supposed to talk to me and say like, "Hey, drop by the lab once in a while, okay?" I'm just like, "Fucking no! I'm a literal zombie right now. Fuck off, kid." No one likes you. Imagine being so lonely you want to hang out with zombies. My scientist is probably a virgin. This is what he gets for studying STEM. I mean, he brought this on himself. So now I go back through... Back through here. Slayer of babies. Don't have to imagine. Go this way. Pigs. Ghost pig as well. And then we're out. There is no daylight savings, so we share the same time with the West Coast. Based Arizona, dude. Daylight savings has to be like the most small brain thing of all time. The sky is 396 meters away. Well, Tom. What's the prerequisite for wishing for immortality at the Wish Rancher? I started the game as Monolith, and it wasn't an option. Um, it's- you have to be in the story mode, I believe, to make a wish at the Wish Sugar Rancher. Being anything but monolith. And you have you're not allowed certain Wish factions, Rancher. you're not allowed bandits, you're not allowed monolith. And I don't believe you were allowed mercenaries, I don't remember. But yeah, certain factions are just not allowed to do the story mode for Call of Chernobyl. Is there a state like Arizona but not hot? And I know loners, I know clear sky, I know duty, and I know freedom, and I believe ecologists as well are capable. Yes, definitely ecologists, because I start as ecologist, are capable of doing it. Bandit and monolith or not, I don't know if mercenary can. So yeah, I was thinking why not just start as a monolith and do it, but when I did that, it just doesn't start the story sequence. Even if you check mark story, it won't start the story sequence. The state of Van Merchant Mangler Garrison. Also, I like how those guys down there would see me, like, it's 13 now. They probably saw me run past them at, like, 10 hours in this game. And then I run past them, like, sort of again. But this time I'm a zombie, like, three hours later. Like, what the fuck is going on? None of those states have a surplus of Mexicans. Uh, California does. We have a lot of Mexicans, dude. Based sanctuary cities. Fuck laws and shit. We don't have a big canyon, though. That is true. We don't even have much water to begin with. I really want to shoot that bandit in the head. I really want to shoot that bandit in the head. Now. That's what I'm saying, dude. Destroy this country. Not this country, I mean this state. Yeah, just fucking destroy the state. Please nuke us. I don't like when these doors are open. 
I really don't. Mostly because it means pseudo giants and chimeras can fit through it then. If you close one of those doors, like the really big dangerous mutants can't get through it anymore. It's pretty epic. The only thing that's keeping them from just getting out and killing everyone in the surrounding area are tiny metal gates. That you open by just pushing slightly on them. Like those dogs that like ran to a glass door too many times. Like maybe they thought it's really strong still so they don't hit it anymore. But like those dogs that would like run into a glass door and then even when the owners take the glass out of it, like the dog will still not want to go through it anymore. It's really cute too. Like there's this one video that's like this dog, that's apparently this dog like ran into this glass door really hard and every time he tries going through the- they took the glass out of the door and every time he tries going through it now, he like puts one paw forward to make sure that there's no glass there and like feels around for it to make sure he's not gonna bump his head. Like he, he probably hit his head really hard if he goes that balls to the walls to check for it too. Either that, or it's actually a lie, and they trained him to do that. And it's just like fucking movie magic. And by movie magic, I mean they just trained their dog to act like he hit his head really hard and make people feel sad for him. Because, I mean, I had a dog that looked very similar to that one, who was also very stupid, and would hit his head on glass doors multiple times. He never started checking for it, though. He just kind of went the other way. But maybe if we didn't have another way, he would have started checking. Because dogs are really smart. Usually really smart. Also, I figured out you can open this door right here, which would be great because it would put you right next to the end area so you don't have to run through the level. But for some reason, there's an invisible wall there as well. So even even if I got rid of the door, which I've done before, uh, I still can't move through there. It's pretty epic. We don't deserve dogs. Dogs are fucking adorable, and we do not deserve dogs. Humanity does not deserve dogs. Dogs are actually stupid. I love dogs, dude. I love cats, too. And it's not just because they both have fur. Underscore which more stupid than wolves. Excuse me. This way, yeah. Fuck stairs, dude. Cats and dogs, but I prefer cats. cats I, pr I would say I probably prefer cats, cats because I love my cats, cats that, like... I've got a cat named Scruffy who just loves to like lay on my chest and just like lay there. She's like the most chill cat. It's fucking adorable. Oh, poofy baby. One inch big piece of kitten. Excuse me. Slayer of babies and snow cats. I absolutely hate Slayer of babies. It's because he just. I think he just said he hates me. So I have to hate him. Excuse me. Owning a dog is basically owning a slave. It's true, dude. You can make dogs do manual labor for you as well. I'm pretty sure it's like, at best case scenario, minimum wage labor, but you can still make dogs carry things for you. I wanna do this again. Yeah, this was some epic shit, the fact that you can do that. Not bad, dude. I've never made that both ways across before. That actually... Despite me having to set it up for a while, that actually still saves a few seconds. Can we, can we stop? Thank you. That feeling you will never buy a prostitute. That feeling when Cyber Demon tried to buy a prostitute and somehow managed to fail. Like, literally how? If there's any, like, disgusting, pathetic virgin who would be buying a prostitute, it would be Cyber Demon. That feeling you'll never hang out with Cyber Demon enough in real life to actually have him buy you a prostitute with all his stream.me bucks. Why even live? What's the purpose? A one person more base than Cyber Demon. You can't. Rage cast. I will just get the animal who will love me as long as I feed it. Uh that's most any animal. That's also most people. That's me at least. It's like impossible to hate some- Are you a sociopath if you hate animals, by the way? I think you are. Excuse me. Get cut, kid. Not the personnel. That's true. Some animals are really good tasting. Fucking cows, dude. You had it coming. I don't care if cows can be funny and cute, too. Like, they are way too tasty and have way too much meat. And they make milk as well, like, come on. 
Yeah, you have more than enough time to just run into here, grab the thing and run out without shutting the thing down and wasting, waiting through that cutscene. Rage cast. I just think pets are stupid. Serpic last V. Imagine being vegetarian slash vegetarian. Rage cast is literally like as small brain as you can be if he doesn't like animals. Remix the term vegan B E W. If he shut down, I don't know if he actually shut down both the Miracle Machine and the Brain Scorcher. If he did, he would have a significantly longer fight out there than I have. Because, I mean, I don't have a fight out, basically. Hi, excuse me. There we go. How can we not? Ow. Oh, that's a bad fucking feel one, dude. That's one of the issues I have, actually, with Scruffy. I fucking love her, but she's a really long hair cat, and she fucking pukes up hairballs, like, 24-7. It's something I've just come to live with, though. Like, I love the baby kitty cat, and I just kind of have to deal with the fact that she will periodically puke up, uh, like, half another cat's worth of hair. And there's nothing I can do about it. She's a one-inch big piece of baby, though, on the level. Nice bloodsuckers. Yeah, later, homo. I should be faster than you. Maybe not, actually. Imagine accepting the furball puking on your property. I still have cat puke in my room that I have yet to clean up because I'm really lazy. Yeah, no, they're totally faster than me. They're just stupid. We actually did shave quite a bit of her hair off because she had a lot of mats that we simply could not clear up. Part of the issue is she really does not like being brushed, but she's a long hair cat, which is kind of a problem. And she had so many mats on some of her fur that we decided to just sit down one day and like straight up shave her. Like sh not all of her, but we shaved off all like r I shouldn't even say we shaved. We more of just really neatly trimmed. The hair that she had that was like starting to mat up and just kind of stick together way too much and she really really liked having that happen after the fact but she was like fucking fighting tooth and nail both my mother and i were bleeding during the entire event she did not like having her hair cut off and she doesn't like having her hair really like combed <coughs> oh for fuck's sake they don't have matted hair Fuck you. I don't want to get, like, punched a lot. Never mind, that's the one that I figured out. Like, situational places I could break line of sight, so that's not a problem. She is not, actually. Scruffy is not obvious. Snowball is obvious, but, I mean, that's Snowball. No one cares. He's a fucking fat piece of shit. But Scruffy is not obvious at all. She's a baby's. Ow. Lit myself on fire. V. I have an obese cat. Yo, I have an obese cat too. His name's Snowball. He's a baby. He's a really fucking fat cat. V. He visits there the we go. Every hour. Yeah, dude, you gotta visit that football. Oh, excuse me. Slayer of babies. None yeah, of this cats window. ever got shit fur, but I also always kept them in good shape. Yeah, I mean, I don't keep my cats in any shape, necessarily. I just kind of let them be. Which is probably not the best way to treat cats, but whatever. Also, goddamn, we have a cat named Cinder, who is, like, the most swole fucking cat I've ever seen. She's, like, less of a cat and more like a small panther, and she has a shit ton of personality, and I fucking love her, and she's a baby adorable. I love her. Piece of kitten. And hot damn, she's like really big and heavy cat. She's like clearly also the alpha of the house because she always starts shit with other animals. No one's moving in on her turf. This way, right?
Yeah, this way and then up. And I can't see the building because it's more than 173.3 meters away. They just fucking swole cats, dude. They're so cute, too. Old baby dirt the meows. Just has really good meows. Like, meow. Like the strong sort of. She also likes to, like, verbal or something. She's like. I really don't know. It's like, it's not purring. It's like a mix between purring and meowing. And it's fucking adorable, and I don't know, like, the only other cat that does something similar is Duchess, who's, oddly enough, like, almost like a miniature clone of Cinder. She's like a tiny little panther-ass cat. Except she's, like, just a kitty cat. And Cinder, like, an actual huge adult cat. Excuse me. I'm, uh, I'll fucking stab you, like, don't, don't wait me. If I remember how to do this... Yeah, got it. I'm usually really shit at that, and I got it twice today. Like, twice in a fucking row. Excuse me. Surfic glass V. If a furry artist draws his furries with a human body but has like a cat head, is it still a furry? Uh, hey, yes. Babies. I love how you can just walk through this apartment complex with no risk of death. It's fucking great, dude. God damn. I love that shit. Just being able to go through. No risk. No worries. At all. Opening this is a lot easier and probably just faster than trying to glitch it up, and unless I get it, like, the first try. Okay, yeah. It was this way. Right? Yeah, yeah, it was this way. I'm right. Ow. Thank God they're not in the way. Make some vodka. Look at this lab, dude. Look at this lab. This is unreal. Unfucking believable how well that went. That might just be one of the best like X eights I've had like ever. And then again, it's probably because I'm in invincible. frantic, sweet X eight run. Yeah, that X eight was just fucking perfect. I I really can't think of any place where it could reasonably have gone better. Yeah, this way. I want to keep that until the monolith war lab so I can open a door. Wait a lot of babies. Dude, if you weren't invincible, those birds would have one hit you. That is true, yes. That is very true. The bureaus are kind of broken as shit because I don't have any armor. Then again, I am a god, so what are they gonna do, really? Later on, babies, they did their super attack like four times. Yeah, thank god they did that rather than the stamina drain. That would have actually slowed me down. They're just gonna do the annoying retarded attack that, like, comes out before they even do their animation. What a terrible, terrible attack. Reminder, those things were supposed to be in, like, Shadow Chernobyl. That shit was cut for good... Clearly, for good reason. Also, I really, really doubt this run is going to be faster than the WR. Simply because, uh, this, you lose too much time at the start, I guess. Circuit Glass V, how hard would you cream if they made a fourth Stalker game at Snow Meme? It depends on a lot of things. Cause I mean, what if they try making Clear Sky 2, or what if they make Call of Duty Stalker Edition? Cap frantic, pretty hard TBH. If they just made, like, another genuine stalker game, though, I would be fucking ecstatic. I'd probably jack off a lot over it. Especially if they made cute stalker girls who would hit me up. Rage cast. What is the more poorly thought out burn for the dogs in wild territory who run through anomalies repeatedly? Probably bureaus, honestly, because the dogs are just, like, silly. The bureaus will actually, like, kill you pretty regularly. I don't understand why the fuck they were given such strong psionic shit. 
If I remember correctly, the... They were meant to be telekinetic. Which is why they've got, like, the airburst thing, and they also just rip off the poltergeist's move. But they also are fucking assholes, so I don't care. I think their power is supposed to be telekinesis. That sounds right. Tele... Yeah, I guess it's like I mind or something. And then kines kinetic, machine. like, kinetics. Physical. Yeah, frantic. So cheap. Excuse me? Thank you. Excuse me. Really nice that I can just jump. I mean, you, with knowing Stalker, you can probably just jump out of that anyway and not take damage. But I can also just like sprint through all these zombies and stuff and not ever stop. Like, I feel like if I went really optimally through some of these areas, I could be saving so much fucking time over the normal route. The only issue is, I mean, <laughs> like, you have to go through. I mean, granted, you do go through the monolith control area and the other shit, like, backwards. You still have to go through that shit still. Which is just like, oh man. That is a feat and a half, especially considering you've got to go through a decent hunk of all that garbage with no armor on. But yeah, I mean, it's probably going to take 10 minutes just to get to the next area. Because now I gotta go there and then up. Wait a lot, babies. You're also doing a lot of stuff submenu thousandly. That is true, yeah. I still think that a lot of time. Your ladders aren't as fast as they should be. I don't know how to fucking climb ladders quickly, dude. Babies. You're looking too high. Does that even change your movement speed up ladders? I had no idea. Who is this? Oh, it's a friend. Go here, go there. Let's go here. Yeah, that's true. Like, I don't know if it would be faster to jump that or just run over that, for example. Later lot babies. Yeah, in Stoker, you want to look at ladders almost straight on. That's pretty epic. I had no clue. <laughs> what the fuck? That doesn't make any sense. I guess I just figured, you know, look up a ladder to go up it. Stalker's just a wonderful video game, isn't it? But yeah, I guess to beat the world record, I have to get there in like nine minutes now. Which I guess that only took me one minute to get through there. The problem is, though, that the walk to the monolith war lab from the start of the power plant is going to be fucking absurd and there's nothing I can do to speed it up. I guess though, if it's any consolation, uh, I don't have to actually hunt the thing down, and I don't really know how long that took, because I I saw him hunt it down, but he hunted it down very quickly. I'm just gonna open the door and fucking go. Cap frantic, and you still have to slay those ten waves of monolith gold. I do, yeah, but that won't be hard. Especially not considering I have fucking 14 duped grenades. And if need be, I could still dupe more, like... No, uh, that was to make the Sea Conscious dude spawn so you could talk to him. Oh yeah, that's for the good ending. Oh, yeah, the, the ghosts. I, I was thinking of the ones that just spawn at the top of that tunnel. The ghosts, I don't have to fight them at all, though. No. I'm just gonna join the Sea Conscious. So much fucking faster. Oh, nice ghost. The sky is 173.3 meters away from me. But yeah, this slog. And then this slog. Are probably gonna take like fucking ten minutes, because I mean, hey, why not? Joining the sea consciousness is a good ending. <laughs> the canonical good ending, okay. Cap frantic, illegal.
Yeah, well known fact, this actually makes you move 25% faster. Rage cast. Putting new super intelligence to good use and you skip the worst level in social. Rage cast. You're not wrong. You're not wrong, like in the fucking slightest. Later on, babies. He's right. Yeah, I really don't think 107 is possible with this, although I guess I have gone through here faster than I expected. I mean, 10 minutes for that, maybe not. Probably closer to, like, 8. Which is still not a pace you can PB with. Or, but, I mean, it, this is a case I'll PB with. If I finish a run, I'll PB, but it's not a, it's not a pace to worry with. Which is really all that matters when you speedrun. What's the purpose of speedrunning if you won't get a world record? Literally the only reason I speedrun is so I can tell cute women I meet in real life that I have a world record and therefore they should suck my dick and they always do. 100% full off strategy. The real question is, will you finish before 122? Probably not. Knowing me, I'm gonna spend like 20 years trying to unlock the fucking door and just get very upset. We not. Thank you. Also, someone outside my window is making like really loud banging noises. I have no idea. Who the hell it is or what they're doing, I don't really care. Yeah, those ghost fights would be fucking cancer, honestly. Like, under any normal conditions. If I wasn't, like, actually allied with the monolith. Even being allied with the monolith and being invincible, they were pretty annoying. Don't finish before 122. Then you know that you just went way slower than him somewhere along the route. I mean, compared to the normal route, if I had to guess a place that I was slow, it was probably in getting into Clear Sky. Because mine took like 15 minutes. Alternatively, you could just Alt F4 the game there. I also still really, really like how wishing for the zone to disappear just crashes the desktop with like a special, um, a special like little window thing that says like, wish granted. That was just pretty genius, DBH. The sky is 396 meters away. Like Counter Strike, you run faster with the knife out. Later on, babies. Well, if you go over 122, that's ignoring your time spent becoming invincible. Yeah. Granted, genius. Later on, babies. I'm thinking like maybe he does some shit you're not doing. <sighs> maybe. What the fuck is going on out there? Sounds like someone's almost breaking glass or something. Which is, I mean, if someone's breaking into my neighbor's house, tough shit, I'm not ruining this fucking run for your window. Your stupid TV, buddy. I'm a really Later good neighbor. Babies. That's me, sorry. <laughs> okay, that's just slight, never mind then. Slayer all the babies. I'll stop. You don't sound like you're stopping, Slayer. It's unreal. I know you'd never lie to me, though. Got it. Gotta make sure you cut that thing. Yeah, I'm definitely not finishing this in 107. I'll be lucky if I'm in the thing by 107, like in the War Labs. I should be going left, shouldn't I? Yeah, definitely. Acid trolley anomaly. I like how they even put, like, silly little anomalous fields out here. It's not even, like, I don't think I've ever seen the fields out here spawn artifacts. 
I think maybe I saw this one spawn an artifact once, but like the ones out here on the north side, I don't think I've ever seen them spawn them. And there's basically fuck all minus a few camps on the roof and periodic um, like monolith patrols. I was like, I really don't understand why you would want to come out here. So congratulations. Oh, they do spawn artifacts? Okay. Imagine coming all the way out here to find that shit, though. That would be fucking, like, the worst idea. Yeah, see, I'm not even gonna be in the War Lab by 107. But I guess you're right, though. If I can get within about 15 minutes of his time, then I've shown that I can... Uh, do something with it. Like, if I can't get within 15 minutes, I'll know that 15 minutes is, is just not a good idea. At least. At the very least. I'm assuming the back Units entrance is better. Loading screens count for the timer. Yes, they do. Three minutes for turn. Fast PC and DW. Rage cast. Imagine not beating some randos PB on your first barely rooted attempt. <laughs> That's a bad feel when, dude. Oh. Slayer of babies. Well, I'm saying if you can't get within 15 minutes, it's time to actually watch his run and check for differences. Okay. Uh, my game minimized for a second there. I don't know why. No, no, 1986. Yeah, I have to remember that date. Down here. Oof. It was hiding from you. Great. the only one oh come on hacker get off me there we go Three minutes for turn, flip. Get good. My reputation is worse and don't know. Get fuck, my reputation is worse and don't know. Get good. Awful, what the fuck? No, dreary. Probably because they're my friends, aren't isn't it? Hello? Rage cast. Oh my god, is someone still up there? Oh no, I'm just passing out, okay. I just shot through the wall, whoops. Sorry whoever's out there. Man, I just spam one, I think. Hey, look at that. 108. Pretty close to a 109. But yeah, this route totally has potential. Not bad. Slayer of babies. Dude, you could definitely beat that time. It's yeah, it's, I would say it's possible. I guess time doesn't stop until I hit the credits, that's right. Oh I have to take into account the menu time at the beginning as well. So that would probably save me, like, I think, 10 or 20 seconds, and I fucked up my timer there. Yeah. I think I'll just have to find either... A f if I can find a way to spawn at Zaton and get through there without, the without having to go to Yantar, that alone will... Yeah, that alone, like, fucking wins it for me. Because I don't have to go through the control center, really. 
Like, I don't have to go... Th well, I have to go to the control center to get that piece of paper, but I only have to go through the back door, like, five feet to get it. So that wouldn't be that hard to get later. But more importantly, um... I don't have to go through the entire control center. I can just go through half of the sarcoph... Not the half, I mean the full sarcophagus. Rather than going through the full control center and then half the sarcophagus. As well as through Lemansk. And as well as through the abandoned hospital. I could instead just fight through the sarcophagus. The only issue, though, is I'd have to find a way to survive the psionic emissions without the helmet I get from Yentar. Which I have no idea how I would do that because it's like, what, 33% of your health every couple of seconds? That's kind of a big deal. Figuring that out, though, would cut the time to get there down from like 15 minutes down to like 6, probably. I could definitely save a lot more time, yeah. Oh man, dude, that lab... That lab X8, though, was fucking unreal. Anyway, yeah, that's... BB.